Hello, friends, and welcome again to another Street Fighter Duel video. Hey, guys, so finally we got them. Finally, they're here. The Mutant Ninja Turtles are in the game and they will be having their own uh, event that will be released. And as you see on the screen, we have two of them shown now. We don't know if they will drop all the four. The What we had news before and with the previous community manager talked to us that if this happens and they sign the contracts and everything is finished, they will be releasing the four of them. And uh, that was what in the files actually back then when we were uh, checking the files. But right now we only see Leonardo, we see Michelangelo. And probably one of them is support or a tank or balance or whatever and the other one is DPS. Hopefully this is what we trying to uh, convince ourselves actually and hype ourselves into. First of all, if we check the devs and what they sent us, they didn't mention anything in the update notes. So this is what uh, I didn't understand that they dropped this out of the blue. If we're gonna go and check the events, we have the event and we see Leonardo as the character available for summon or uh, the first one featured here because he's the leader and everything else and he's the most popular one amongst them. Him and Michelangelo is the one and then we have La Raphael and Donatello. We don't know if they're gonna be dropped in the game or in the mall or whatever it will be happening. So how do we achieve the summons? The summons are different. They have their own currency, but hey, don't be sad because if you're gonna click on the ticket, we can read what we can have. Now you can have 15 in the week because after this week the event will drop and probably we will have more free currency for them to summon just like any other event. But the thing with this that you can convert these tickets into from the limited tickets. So if you have limited character tickets, the one that you summon Vega, the one uh, Visconde Vega, the one that you summon Rich Honda and the others one, the, the Akuma one, you can transfer them and uh, make them these tickets so you can use them to summon the Ninja Turtles. So the description goes as follows. So it says TMNT wish tickets. Spend TMNT wish tickets for a chance to obtain a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fighter and various rewards from limited time wishes. During the event, players can convert special summon tickets into TMNT wish tickets without limit. So this is great because you don't have a ceiling for it so you can replace all your tickets with this and go ham on the TMNT. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles event series has two episodes. So first episode we're gonna get Leonardo and Michelangelo. The second episode we're gonna have Raphael and Donatello. And this is what I'm thinking about because it's two episodes. So after the two episodes, when the second episode ends, all your, uh, all unused TMNT wish tickets will be converted into gems. So this is what you don't want to happen. So if you converted the tickets or you still have tickets, go and summon them all for them. And then you will have, uh, the, if you because if you still have the tickets, it will be converted into gems. And gems right now, the currency, uh, this currency is kind of useless, except in fast gains and in divination, it's the most thing. And in the shop, if you want to buy the vehicle or the garage, uh, cars and uh, motorcycles, so you can get the 6 out of 6 or the 3 out of 6 for the characters, which is not that much use because all that we focus on are for the special summon tickets and for the collaborations. Uh, the gems that goes into Divination, we go for three or four characters that, that are the main ones and then you're not gonna have them. So diamonds are not the most important things, especially if converting a ticket into a diamond. We don't know the ratio. They might give you for every ticket 100 diamonds or 300 diamonds, which is not really good because if you're gonna go to the shop, buying a special summon ticket, it's cost 1000 diamonds. I want or 1, 800, 1,000, 1,200, so you can uh, uh, sum it up into 1,000 per one. So I don't think that they will give us uh, diamonds worth of 1,000 for every ticket that you didn't spend. So this is a bad investment in my idea or a bad calculation if you want to go like I'll buy all the tickets uh, or I'll keep all the tickets, I'll convert them into diamonds. Diamonds is better for me if you didn't like the characters. And who don't like them? I, I hope that they will give us one copy of every character as for free to play 
if you go and uh, just do the events uh, for them as we do in every event for special summon tickets because it will be harsh a little bit if you just need to summon them to obtain at least one copy of them and if they're gonna give us a free copy of each one of them that would be great but if they are summonable and they don't give us one copy of them i highly recommend you that you go and summon to get at least one copy of every character so you can use starlights by the end of, or, or, or on the long term to upgrade them and make them viable maybe one copy helps you maybe somebody unlocks at SS maybe somebody with triple S with their cars so you need to keep that in mind that your main priority is getting a copy at least if they give you a free copy of them you're safe okay you can spend later you can do whatever you want to do later to upgrade them or you can spend during the event and uh, upgrade them to the level that you want them to be viable so this is what I'm uh, trying to uh, influence people that if you don't want to spend at least the currency that you have convert them and get one copy of every character if they give you one copy we're happy me as free to play I'm not gonna spend anything as you know I'm gonna just wait and check what are they about and if they give us free copies of them I'll be happy if they don't I'll try to summon convert my tickets buy from the shop every ticket that I can so um, we're gonna get a chaotic starlight by the end which is really great for you to upgrade other units or this these units if you like them or if they are top tier units so we don't know anything about them I'm not gonna go into the files and read them and what are they about uh, we we drop this it's not important they will show us the characters in the end we're gonna know everything about them so if we're gonna go and check the shop in the shop right now in the mall we don't have anything to buy for the tickets which is absolutely uh, understandable and if we're gonna go to the fight mall I think yeah they're not here so there is no character that is legendary so far and I checked the skins I checked everything I even went to the gallery and tried to check if they're available they're not available yet it means we don't have any idea or any clue about them but I think they might drop because there was talks about uh, with, the, with the previous community manager when we were talking that they might do it they might be a legendary unit that is not obtainable just like Nero Nero came in and Virgil came in. Virgil was summonable, Nero does, was only purchased as a mall because he was legendary. So, take it with a grain of salt uh, about these uh, summoning uh, shenanigans. If a unit comes with a, as a legendary, it's, it's a mechanic of the game. Legendaries are impossible to get as free to play unless it's uh, Fashion Blanca for global. Now for SEA, I don't know because they changed many things. Even in SEA, they nerfed uh, B Zangief. If you don't know what happened to B Zangief, B Zangief C2 doesn't stun anymore. It just bleeds everybody. And he's not bad early game, late game, he's absolutely trash. So nobody is using him. I don't know if they dropped the speed for him. What I know is he doesn't stun and it's one of his core mechanics. This is why everybody uses B Zangief actually on global. So yeah, that's what I was uh, wanted to talk about. Uh, again, if you want to summon for these characters, save these tickets. These tickets, you can convert them. You can convert every ticket into a ticket. I don't know the ratio. They said you can convert them into the uh, event tickets. I don't know if three tickets into one, five into one, or one into one. I hope they keep it one into one or they make it one into one. And you see, I'm low at diamonds. That's not an issue. I think I have diamonds here. Yeah, I can pop diamonds and go and buy whatever. So go into the shop, buy these dailies so you can have uh, tickets as much as possible. Or set up a good PvP team and go and fight in, in Showdown. I didn't even go to Showdown. Did I go to Showdown? No, I didn't even participate. I forget about it. I'm just neglecting this game so bad. Uh, so yeah, these are your options. This is where you get the tickets from. And this is how you do it. I hope this event will be uh, an upgrade for the game, at revising the game, especially on Global. I hope that it will work because Team NT is something that everybody loves. So as we saw in the opening screen, it's Nickelodeon TMNT. So uh, maybe that was the deal they were talking about with, uh, uh, with Nickelodeon. Because it was in SF6 as... Uh, in Street Fighter 6 as as uh, as uh, skins and here uh, they took their time to get an agreement maybe it's uh, they were talking with Nickelodeon I thought that it was only Paramount because Paramount have the rights and in my head Paramount was going broke and they didn't get a good deal or something like that because everybody knows that it's Paramount is going bankrupt or there's like rumors about it I don't know the whole idea but what I know is they made something good 
they made now Ninja Turtles. We waiting, we were waiting for collab for, for I don't know how long now, five months after the DMC happened. It was a long time, so I thought that they were neglecting this. Now they came into the game. Two episodes. So first event we're gonna have two characters. Next event we're gonna have uh, Donatello and Raphael. And I'm hoping everything that we're gonna get one copy of everything for free. I'm hoping that there will be no legendary. If there is a legendary, it's easier for who wanna spend. They will be maxed out for them. If it's not, it's uh, it will be harder for everybody, especially for low spenders and free to play. And yeah, that was it for the video. I'll be seeing you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, we thank you for watching. And as always, stay frosty. Peace. Time to fly.